good morning. It's uh, oh, we'll get through here about quarter past seven, twenty past seven, something like that. Last, all right, mate. Last race weekend of uh, 2023. I'll see where Donington Park. We were here, well, not too long ago, uh, doing the British Super Sport Championship. That went quite well. If you haven't watched that vlog, go and watch that vlog. So, as I was saying, this is the final round, um, and it's all—it's probably the closest I've ever been in a championship. Oh shit, red flag! <laughs> probably the closest I've ever been to, you know, or the biggest battle I've been in, should I say? I'm currently third in the championship. I am 14 points behind Tom Fisher, who's in second, and I'm 22 points in front of Alderson, who's in third. In all fairness. Alderson should be a lot further in front of the championship, but he's had some misfortune and he's missed some rounds. Um, but we're at Donington Park, it looks like we're going to get good weather, even though it's October. Um, in about an hour and a half, I'll be flying around here with my knee on the deck, uh, hopefully doing enough to be pole position in qualifying. Last time I raced here, other than British Championship, I was pole position, but I was on the little track. Um, I'm feeling relatively confident. We just need to, <laughs> I need to try and get in that headspace that was at a brand hatch where I felt like I was unbeatable. I don't know what happened, um, and that's the kind of headspace we need to be at. So anyway, this is this is enough waffle for now. <laughs> interesting to know how many people who watch a vlog uh, who actually race or do track days um, but you might next see me just before qualifying and uh, I'll be running the onboard camera as well so I'll see you there well not a bad qualifying session although I think we only got uh, five laps at it off maybe four timed laps I'm not too sure um, but there was a red flag someone was on the floor and um, they kind of make a habit of it uh, but anyway it is what it is. Uh, second place, Oliver was uh, quite a long way in front. Uh, by about a second, he did a 34.3, I think. I did a 35.3, which is half a second off my personal best from last week end in British Super Sport, obviously in a race. But with not having done the test day and stuff, uh, to be lining up second, I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, Oliver, who is Paul, he's on Salmon Roll Super Sport bike. <laughs> it's very fast. Um, but nonetheless, second place, you know, it's not a bad place to start, is it? So. Uh, that was on scrub tyres as well, not new tyres, so not that I got to, you know, utilising the full performance of the tyre, but still felt pretty good straight away going out the pits, just, it was like I hadn't left. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, we have a good race one. Well, I'm going to go out for race one in about 10 minutes or so. Um, I've got my official fan club here this weekend. <laughs> so, looking forward to it, sun shining. Uh, we'll just see what we can do.
as you will have just seen, that was a well, it was an aggressive race by myself. Um, James was holding me up, and so I really struggled to get past him and make it stick. You know, I'd get past and make some mistakes of my own, so unfortunately, being the aggressor didn't work out in that circumstance. I ended up getting done, um, you know, and it ultimately being aggressive just pulled the pack back together. I don't think there would have been a big gap behind me, and unfortunately, I didn't have my rear camera on. I mean, it's the fastest I've ever been around the track, but I really feel like I could have went faster. I just kept running into James. Um, so, and it hasn't helped my championship uh, hopes, because now Tom will be 23 points in front of me, and James will be maybe 18 behind or something like that, 19 something. Um, yeah, gutted to be honest. I, I rode a good race, just my race craft ultimately let me down. Um, We've got another two goals here tomorrow. None of us had anything for Oliver Bar. Um, he is riding Salmon Rose Super Sport bike and it is really fast, so looks like we're battling for second on the uh, podium, like throughout the races. But yeah, I need to try and not be upset because I did, you know, like I did ride well. Um, but yeah, just a few little mistakes trying to get to the front. Uh, if I'd have made a better start, then. You know, I, I probably could have stayed in second and went with it, but I didn't have enough revs on. I go back on with the revs. Bike kept wheeling all the time, and that's, to be honest, that's ultimately what probably cost me the second place. Um, nonetheless, I've been top one minute 45 just in this clip, so I'll see you in the next bit. Well, good morning. It's Sunday, and it's the last race day of the year. Feel pretty good. Um, obviously, yesterday I was a little bit. Unfortunate with the result really. I feel like I definitely had the pace for second. Oliver cleared off on uh, the bike that he's riding. So it was kind of a battle for second and I feel like I should have ended up with it. Nonetheless, get two more chances to stay in the longer races. Um, longer race tends to favour me anyway, so we'll see how it goes. I'll just, uh, let's go to the tent. Sauce for the non-flapping angle. bike's not here because at the last round at Open Park found out that someone had been playing silly buggers and adjusting my suspension obviously without me asking them whilst I wasn't with the bike now normally Richie stays in the van uh, who's like the mechanic who helps me out but for this weekend he's staying in like a apartment in Castle Donington so better safe than sorry so the bike stayed in the van last night Bikes out of van. I said, pretty good. Did just notice the waste over form from my caravan, so that's the next job on the list. Oh, I found out uh, some interesting plans for next year, so keep tuned uh, in the next videos. Only found out yesterday, so I'm pretty happy about that. Red lights go out and Tom Fisher looks to make a good start, a terrible start made by Dave Brace from the second row of the grid but it is going to be Tommy Fielding who gets the advantage on the run down towards Redgate Corner and Tommy Fielding sweeps across in front of the pack and he will have the lead, James Alderson I think he's up into second place, Fisher you more lengths closes right back in on the uh, race leader James Olds. Round McLean's they go and again Fisher's had a good exit from McLean's. He's tried this a few times into Coppice Corner. He's going to have to really commit to make it work though. Olders I think hangs on again. Outside line on the way in. Absolutely nip and tuck on the way out but James Olderson still has the race lead as they head for the Fogarty S's for the last time. Then onto the brakes they will go and is that Fielding now actually moving up to second place? I think it might be. Tommy Fielding has got past Tom Fisher. Tommy Fielding into second position as they went through the Fogarty S's, so Fisher got a bit preoccupied trying to get past Alderson and ended up giving second place away, and now Fielding is late on the brakes into the Melbourne hairpin, and here comes Dan Stamper as well. Dan Stamper on the inside of uh, Fisher for third place. It's all unravelling a bit, this, for Tom Fisher. He manages to fend off Stamper. Well, I've got a smile on my face after that race. Kind of bided my time a little bit, uh, hoping that they would 
mess each other up a little bit and they did i got a really good drive onto the back straight uh sort of managed to i think i was passing by the time i got on the brakes actually but you know them two messed themselves up into that corner so it uh, enabled me to don't know pick up the spoils i guess obviously yesterday i was trying hard to get past james and it meant i ended with fourth rather than second uh it's a really good race I'm a I sat, probably sound a little bit more deflated now than I was afterwards, I was like really happy. Uh, I also set the fastest lap of the race in that last lap, so we're starting pole for the last one. Get some new tyres in and see what we can do. Hopefully don't do anything stupid because, you know, I'm still in the championship battle. I think I'm 17 behind Tom Fisher and 14 in front of James, so is that what it is? So if James wins and I'm fifth, that means we tie on points and he probably win on the fact that he's got wins. I'm assuming. So, or wins, you know, beats me. So, I may be fourth or higher if James wins. So, at least I know what I've got to do. I think it's more a case of trying to ensure that I end up with third rather than going for second and finishing fourth, you know, through a crash or a bit of misfortune. But, yeah, see you in the next bit of the vlog. It's uh, potentially going to be the favourite. Here we go then, ready to go racing for the last time in the Brelli Super Series 600 at Tamworth GYTR Pro Shop Cup 600 Championships. Off they go, Tommy Fielding makes a good start from pole position, and I think we'll get the whole shot on the run down towards Redgate Corner. A bit of a challenge will come from James Alderson, I'm sure though, who is late on the brakes on the inside line and actually does go through. So Alderson leads the way, Fielding busy battling them for second place as they head out of Redgate, uh, down through the crater curves. Three of them under a blanket, Tom Fisher is trying to move through into second. In fact, Tom Fisher's having a go at the race lead as they drop through the craters. That won't work, it's Alderson who leads the way, then Fisher second, and Tommy Fielding finds himself bustled down into third position through the old for the first time well we've done it i think if my maths is correct uh, third place in the championship absolutely buzzing can't lie it was a difficult race and kind of lost touch midway um i still did a pretty decent lap i just i struggled a little bit with the inconsistency in my own riding to be honest but nonetheless it's third in the Prelly super series 600 championship so i mean we must be doing something right thumbs up everyone <laughs> Made it. Bikes in one piece. What more could you ask for? I might do a little bit of vlog later when we're all getting drunk, so I'll see you in a bit. So I've done it. Third place in the championship. Uh, Pelly Super Series 600 this year. Uh, been some highs. Not too many lows to be honest. I want to stay on it a lot of the time. Big thank you to uh, uh, all of my sponsors. Mainly XSI really and then everyone behind you that you can see who helps me out. <laughs> So yeah, time for a bit of champagne. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> hope you've all enjoyed the journey in 2023 and things promise to be even faster in 2024. I know what I'm doing and what I'll be riding. My trusty R6 is off to a new home, so hopefully they take good care of her. If you would like to be involved, then there's lots of opportunity for promotion on my social media and YouTube. If you stay tuned, races two and three are going to be uploaded, and they've also got the rear camera and the smooth, dulcet tones of Andy McEwen. My bike reveals also to come, so make sure you smash that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.